guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Divine Masculine, Sherry here, how's it going? So this is going to be your reading for, sorry, I'm just getting my cards out of the way, um, for January the 23rd until, I don't know if he's upside down, until February the 3rd. So 11 days, hope you're all doing well. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is a split divine partnership okay so I'll pull the cards I'm not going to look at them yet and then I'll go through the positions so I'm not sure if you've watched the uh, twin flame reading I just did I been kind of absent for three weeks. I finished my book. Super stoked about that. And yeah, so I just need to have it edited and then I should be able to get it published. Okay, so let's begin. And let me just give my cards a quick shuffle because I'll whoa, probably be using those for clarifiers. Uh, these cards are super slippery. So interesting. So the high priest just popped out. Now this card showed up in the twin flame reading at the heart and was accompanied by the um, um, the Queen of Pentacles which was the main energy shared at the heart and then uh, you masculine you were bringing in the high priest, the feminine, was bringing in the um, justice card. So you both got major arcanas. So <clears throat> I'm really seeing this as a time of enlightenment. You are starting to understand um, this journey, how it's, it's here to illuminate you, to bring you to higher levels of consciousness. So you either are stepping into this role as a spiritual leader or um, you may, may be meeting somebody in the coming week um, that is a spiritual leader that is helping you you know to guide you on this journey but what I'm really sensing is the masculine really stepping into this role of being a guide you know a light worker that kind of thing and helping others Okay, so let me just give it another shuffle here. Okay, so let's start with how the masculine is feeling about the relationship or the connection with the feminine it is the base chakra. So this is the lowest chakra. This is where all the parasites are stored within the first three chakras. So for me, this is a big old blockage, okay? So he doesn't feel safe. He doesn't feel secure in the connection. Um, and it's only when you hit rock bottom, that's when you start to make connections and make realizations. It's usually through fear or pain, um, you know, uh, and in the twin flame reading, there was a sense that the masculine was really going through the dark night of the soul. So, you don't feel safe. Well, why do you, don't you feel safe? So, let's just pull the first card. Nine of Pentacles. I'm not going to pull three per position, just one. So, the Nine of Pentacles is feeling ready. Um, the, the fruit is ready to drop from the branches. It's ripeness. It's a manifestation. It is 
the fruits of your labor. So you worked very hard at manifesting something or you desire to manifest something into 3D reality. And you're starting to see the payoff. So this is also independence. It's financial freedom. But it's also very strong self-love card. So we're seeing the base chakra, insecurity, not feeling safe, you know, not feeling grounded, major blockage. And then we have this massive sense of groundedness with the Nine of Pentacles. Huge accomplishment. So it's very conflicting energy. So what I'm seeing here is the masculine may not feel safe in the connection, but he desires to feel that stability. He desires to have this connection manifested into the 3D. He desires possibly his independence or his financial freedom. What is he resisting? The Two of Swords. Wow. So you're still in an indecisive mode. Um, you guys got this in your past position for the Twin Flame reading and it progressed into the Three of Swords in the present moment. So you're feeling a lot of pain because you're not making a decision. You're not deciding to move forward. And that's understandable. You know, you don't feel safe enough to move forward. But there's something out that there out there that you want, that you desire, but you can't you're at a crossroads. You're stuck. You're stuck in the mind. The universe card. So this is the final piece of the puzzle being placed, it is the end of the fool's journey, so this could take up to an entire lifetime to complete this cycle. So this is a major accomplishment, it's acknowledgement from the universe that you are almost there. So whatever this road is that you want to take, it is going to lead to massive feeling of accomplishment. Um, this is nirvana. This is a state of bliss, peace, harmony within yourself. Um, seeing how you're connected to the universe. You are the universe looking back at yourself. So you, 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 you sense that there's this road that you're being drawn towards, but you don't feel safe enough. And it's, you know, this indecisiveness, like I said, is causing heartbreak causing pain but you do feel you know divinely guided you feel drawn in this direction okay so your higher self is telling you to move on the eight of cups is moving to a more emotionally healthy situation it is leaving eight cups behind so you've completely abandoned let you know walked away from something that is emotionally draining so it could be emotional abuse. But you're willing to walk away from it. So your higher self is telling you to listen to what your inner voice is telling you. Something is telling you to move on, to move away from this sense of lack. Sorry, I think the cat is doing something weird to the computer. Sorry, okay. Um, one card. Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is double water energy. All queens are, <clears throat> sorry, um, all queens are water, which is emotion, um, and plus this is the Queen of Cups, which is water. Okay, so double water, which is double emotion. So she is one that feels love unconditionally, and she gives love to all. And she, but she's one who will be taken advantage of as well because she gives her heart so freely, so openly, and she forgives. So you either are moving towards a water sign or you're, you're moving towards that person that you love very deeply. You know, both water cards, this has to do with emotions, or you could be walking away from somebody who is overly emotional but I'm not really sensing that because we got this feeling of being drawn towards a more fulfilling life and the Queen of Cups is somebody who is deeply loving you know something that you're lacking okay so what's in the past position the 
perspective shift. So the hangman, seeing things from a different perspective, turning the world upside down. So where there was once a feeling of lack, you've turned it into something that's positive. Um, you know, so this is seeing the bright side of things or, or deciding to make that perspective shift or change. And in order to do that, you need to let go of control. Um, you know, realize that there's nothing that you can do to change a situation. There's nothing that you can do to stop something from happening. And so the best thing to do is just let, let it go, let it happen, allow it. And from that space of surrender is where you will understand, you know, that need for control is just you being attached to something, to an idea, to an outcome. So you've surrendered, you've let go of something. Oh, let me just pull a card. Five of Wands. So the, the feminine got this as a final outcome. So the final, or the Five of Wands is, you know, disagreeing opinions, is challenges, obstacles, things that are blocking you. So you thought there was something standing in your way. Maybe you f didn't feel confident enough in order to overcome these challenges. And as a result, you surrendered. You let go perfect and because you were able to do that you, you're now seeing things differently your present moment is the six of wands very nice we got a progression five to the six success yes confirmation that surrendering releasing letting go of things you know trying not to control things it brought you to this beautiful place of success. So this is being the rock star. People are cheering you on. You feel accomplished. Not quite as much as, say, the Universe card or the Nine of Pentacles. Remember, those are confirmation cards, so they're, they're, they're just an added energy. The main energy cards are the big ones. So this is just, you know, an added piece of information. So it might be something that you're moving towards. Right, so this is what you want. This is what's going to happen if you walk, you take that path. But currently, you feel very successful. Um, you feel that you're moving on. You are on the right path in terms of your spirituality. Um, but emotionally, there's a blockage there. So one card. Six of Swords. So you're moving away from a negative frame of mind. So this is making a decision to separate from a negative energy, to move to calmer waters. So you got two sixes here. So sixes is about relationships, connections, um, you know, coming, um, partnerships, relationships, that kind of thing. Love, matters of the heart. So here we have a separation, but here we have this encouragement, this, yes, do it. You know what I mean? You're being encouraged to, to move to a different state of mind. That perspective shift is continuing. So the future is, wow, the Ten of Cups, that's beautiful. So the Ten of Cups is you are moving to a very peaceful harmonious place that is unconditional love that is what you're moving towards towards the queen of cups away from you know emotional abuse away from um, negative thinking negative people so two moving on cards very powerful decision-making energy. You need to make that decision. You're being encouraged to make that decision. So make that decision. It's ultimately going to lead you to the happily ever after. So this is a card of everybody's getting along. There's no conflict. Nobody's fighting. Nobody's picking on other people. It's just everybody's happy. That's what you're moving towards. Wow, the Eight of Cups again, same card. 
This is what you're moving towards. Confirmation, guys. You will be happy. There are things that you need to leave behind, but this has been something that's been long coming. You've, it's like you've, you finally made that decision. I can't um, control this situation anymore. It's like, thumbs down, fuck that. I'm moving on. I need to pursue the things that are going to make me happy. I'm afraid to approach the feminine. But ultimately, there's going to be this happily ever after major completion. So what does the universe have to say about this? Yeah, that's hilarious. Oh my God, it fell off the wall again. Um, so this card fell off when I was doing the Twin Flame reading. Um, and I was saying that, you know, if any of the cards fall off the wall, that it's going to be considered to be part of the reading. So here we go, universe. Smack you in your face right there. It's, you know, confirmation, guys, that you're starting to realize that um, the way to be happy is to live your life authentically, not for other people, but for yourself. So there's this very, you know, grounded truth in what you are seeing now. You know, it's making a decision not to be somebody else's punching bag, basically. So pursue the things that will make you be the best person that you can possibly be. And you already know your truth. You know what makes you feel that way. Right? And it's not this. Two swords again. Oh my god. Alright guys, so the universe is telling you to take that road. It's a big thumbs up. That's what I feel. It's like you already know what the best choice is for you to make. That's three times this card has made, you know, has been predominant in this this reading. So that remember, the two of swords progresses to three of swords in your present position. If you want this pain to stop, if you want the heartbreak to stop, then you need to to live your truth. Okay, so your external environment is the eight of pentacles so your external environment could be well, your home life you know this is a 3d material reality um, that's what this card represents is 3d but your external environment could be at home at work um, and it could be you know within yourself as well what you're feeling um, from the outside is actually an internal projection right but anyway so the eight of pentacles the external environment I usually see as a feminine as, as well. So you are currently surrounded by either people that you work with or um, you are near people that are encouraging you to keep going, to pursue that Nine of Pentacles. It's almost there. Um, you know, the, all this hard work is about to pay off. So it's positive movement forward in the 3D reality and it's starting to see manifestation of your dreams coming true. And so that gives you f more fuel to, to work even harder because you're almost there, right? Um, and then you can relax, you can enjoy life. So you are trying to build a secure foundation within yourself as well as in the external. Devil. Wow, synchronicity. The feminine brought the devil into the union. This was her card. This is the energy she was bringing into the union. And she brought the Ace of Cups with it as well. So there's this, you know, there's this negative energy or maybe even a karmic relationship or some kind of chain is holding her back. Now, because this is your external environment, it could be the feminine. Or it could be somebody at your work or somebody is forcing you to work. You feel chained to, to something in the 3D reality. Okay, so the overall energy for the Twin Flame reading was the death card. So this is putting an end to this kind of uh, addiction to material manifestation, right? The Yang is the provider. That's what he does. That's, he's 
looks after the family, he provides for the family. So maybe you're feeling a lot of strain in, in um, the material world or the 3D reality to provide to, you know, I don't know, but, you know, that is the ego, right? The scapegoat, the, the chain that needs to be released. Okay, so what are you afraid of? You're afraid of the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords could be an air sign, um, but I really, you know, read it as an energy. Now, the Queen of Swords is um, the Ice Queen. So this is somebody who's been hurt, betrayed in the past. Um, she could be a widow, divorced, bitter, angry. Um, or it could be somebody who isn't afraid to talk or speak her truth. Her words are very cutting. So you're afraid of this energy. You, you're afraid of being um, cursed out, basically. Okay, so we can see that Bay Shaka, maybe that's where that energy is coming from. Ultimately, there's cutting words with the Six of Swords, and you're moving away from it because it's hurting you. The devil is in your environment, you know, and maybe the feminine, feminine is projecting the devil energy, and it scares the masculine, or, and it's stopping him from making a decision. I don't know. So the Queen of Swords could also be somebody who speaks her truth. This could just be open, honest, truthful communication. He's afraid to, to speak his truth. There's a water element attached to the queen, so um, this could be a very emotional conversation that he's afraid to, to talk about. But ultimately, you're moving to a calmer state of mind. You're finding your truth within yourself, and you need to speak your truth. Wow. <laughs> if you want to be happy, then you need to, to live your life authentically. Okay, you need to speak your truth. Even if, it's, if you're scared of somebody cutting you down, hurting you with cutting words. Um, wow. Wow. You need to embody the Divine Masculine energy. Right now, you're not doing that. You don't feel powerful enough. You don't feel that you have enough to offer. But deep down inside, you know that this road that you take will lead you towards you know, abundance and true love happily ever after. Okay, so the overall energy of the reading is Six of Swords, same card. Crazy synchronicities, guys. Six of Swords is moving to calmer state of mind. Serenity, peace. Um, and it's because of conflict. It's because of chaos. Negative energy, ne negative finger pointing. But it's finally making a decision to live my truth, you know, have that heart-to-heart heart -heart conversation with somebody. The chain needs to be released. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card from Wisdom of the Oracle, so this will be the final message from the universe. I can understand why that card keeps falling off because I accidentally laminated it so it's a little bit heavier than the rest but you can't really explain these ones away okay so this one wow loyal heart aww the twin flame so there's two owls in the image they're sitting on this egg that has a heart so, you know, owls are wisdom, and you're recognizing your twin flame. That's what I feel with that. So, number 35. Okay. 
So the meaning is fidelity, loyalty, and devotion. So I'll read the oracle message and the relationship message since they're both so short. Okay, so the oracle message. Evidence of loyalty will appear in your life. Others will... Ah, what fell off? Um, hold on a minute. Let me just pause that. I'm so curious. This is fun. <laughs> so the tower fell off. As I was reading that, the tower is a sudden change, disruption. Comes in like a bolt of lightning, changes your life in an instant. So it could be an illumination, like an aha moment, or some something comes in suddenly and transforms your life. Um, okay, so loyal heart, what was I saying there? Okay, evidence of loyalty will appear in your life. Others will prove they are faithful to you, and you will in turn commit fully to them. There is a, sh there is a sure and abiding certainty in your heart. Know that spirit is always loyal to you. No matter what the outer circumstances in your life, trust and have faith, for you are eternally loved, always divinely protected and divinely directed. There's that divine guidance. Oh my God. Right? You're always divinely guided and protected from the tower, I guess. <laughs> okay, so the relationship message is... Your partnerships, friendships, and romantic relationships all have many qualities in common right now. Honest, devotion, faithfulness, and a loyal heart are, are be being shown to you. Are you as loyal in return? Now is a time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection. Awesome. So, loyalty. Um, so, you know, the... You, are you being loyal to yourself is a very strong message that I'm picking up with that. You want true love. You want happily ever after. But you need to make that decision to move towards it, to cut the, the links, cut the chain. You know, the, in the Twin Flame reading, you got um, the octopus card, you know, feeling extended in eight different directions. So... You know, follow your heart. All right. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'm sending massive love your way. Cheers.